Hello students, today I'll be playing the role of an African-American man shortly after the passage of the 15th Amendment. Um, 15th Amendment was intended to give me the right to vote. I'm going to my local polling place on election day to try and cast my vote. Let's see how it goes. Voting booth, cool. Hello, sir, how may I help you? I'm here to vote. I'm so happy the 15th Amendment was passed giving black men the right to vote. Sure, I just got a few questions that I have to ask you. Uh, what kind of questions? Well, sir, you'll need to pass a literacy test before you can vote. Wow, what's that? The 15th Amendment didn't say anything about that. Well, see, black codes have been enacted in our state. Black codes? What are black codes? Black codes are designed Let's just say there are special laws that apply to ba uh, blacks only, oh. designed to keep African Americans in a, in a state of slavery. Oh, okay. Well, I guess let's get started. You'll just need to demonstrate that you can read this. Oh, okay. Let me see. The 15th Amendment says I can vote. There, are you happy now? Oh, wow, I'm surprised you can read that. Slaves are not normally allowed to learn how to read. I taught myself, sir. No problem. There's just a couple more things I need, I'll need. i need from you. There's a new law that requires a tax before you can vote. I'll need $5 from you for the poll tax. Well, that's ridiculous. It takes me two weeks to earn $5. That's money I need to feed my family. Sorry, sir, but that's the law. Well, it so happens that I've been saving money for a while now. I'll pay the poll tax. It's really important that I get to cast my vote today. Of course, but there's just one more thing. Can you confirm that your grandfather was able to vote? Of course my grandfather couldn't vote. He was a slave. The law states if your grandfather couldn't vote, neither can you. Well, my grandfather was a slave. Of course he couldn't vote. So what am I going to do? That's not my problem. I just follow the law. It appears you don't want me to vote. I'll be going to the Freedmen's Bureau to file a complaint. Yep. All right, students, we're coming back here. Yeah. We're out of our role play. So, Mr. Wagner, go ahead and explain to us what just happened. Well, we wanted to demonstrate the challenges faced by African-Americans after the, after the um, soldiers left during the Reconstruction period. Reconstruction worked at first. It was enforced by the soldiers. African-Americans were voting. African-Americans were serving in government. And then the black codes were passed. And that's where you started to see all kinds of racism, discrimination, and these codes, again, were designed to keep African Americans in a state of slavery. So the soldiers leaving in 1877, all the gains that were made with the Freedmen's Bureau and, and voting and those amendments, that all took a step back. And eventually, sadly, it's going to put African Americans in an era of even more racism called the Jim Crow era. And the sad part is these literacy tests, they're gonna still be used right into the 1960s. So an African-American comes to vote, um, they could be asked questions that nobody would be able to answer. So it was designed completely to keep African-Americans from voting. Yeah. So these were some, some sad and, and terrible events. You know, and we're, we're role playing them, but these were really some, some very, very sad times in American history. For sure. Okay, guys, that's all for today. Thank you for Thank watching. You.